Ilza Metchek is the executive director of the California Fashion Association. This organization provides Southern California manufacturing and textile community members information about doing business in the global economy. Ilsa, welcome to Making It. A pleasure to be here. Thank you, Emma. You provide information, California Fashion Association, but you do a lot more than that, don't you? Well, we are the network. We are the go-to phone number, so to speak, the traffic cop between the manufacturing community itself, the import community, the government agencies that support that, labor law compliance, international trade, all of those are major issues, as well as the new technologies. As Traffic Cop, what generally do you police? Well, we don't police anything. We provide information. We're not necessarily the information holders, but we certainly know who has the information. So we know the experts. When a manufacturer calls us or a bank calls us, we know who to refer them to. Some of our previous designers that you've just seen on the show here, mm -hmm. manufacture in LA, like right. Carl Kanai. Mm -hmm. Is that a trend that's growing now? Or? Well, it's, it's not exactly growing. What it is is the, star the starting point for most manufacturers in the contemporary field, in the area where they need that speed to market and they need it control and they need to see what the product looks like, they start here in Los Angeles. Why At here? Why here? Because we have a critical mass of employees here. We have a very, very sophisticated workforce that in every area of the manufacturing process know what they are doing. They know how to make a garment, they know how to make a pattern, they know the whole specifications of how to ship the specifications to the Far East so that the garment comes in right. We have the critical mass of trained employees. That's amazing. We were talking just a little bit ago during the commercial break about some of the, the challenges that people here are facing if they want to be in the garment industry, like the rising property prices, if you have any kind of an office space or a warehouse space. What are some of the, the bigger challenges that they're facing now? Well, one of the biggest challenges is that we're not growing the merchants, the key merchants, which who are the people who define what's going to happen a year from now. And that takes the schools to understand that a designer needs to know more than design. They need to know where Bangladesh is, where Sri Lanka is. They need to know how to do math. They need how, the new technology. Art is not enough. Mm. So what we're not developing are the people who are the forecasters. And this is a problem. Uh, is speaking a problem. of geography, mm -hmm. LA versus New York. Who's bigger? Who tends to be the, the launching point? Where, where is the touchstone for fashion, as it were? Interesting question. There's a tremendous difference in the popularity of New York is the marketing center. Those are, that's where the magazines are, and that's where the fashion shows are. But we have more people working in the industry. We have 130,000 people working in the industry here in Los Angeles, and that includes designers and manufacturers. We are where the buyers come for what's new. New York is the establishment. If you look at the designers that are toted in New York, for the most part, they're over 45, some of them over 60. Mm -hmm. When you hear the new designer names, generally they're from Los Angeles. We are the entrepreneurial base. We are the research and development for the industry here. In other industries, we talk a little bit about outsourcing and how that affects the folks here at home, the labor force here at home. Do you see much of that in the fashion industry? Well, it affects it in, in some ways very positively. We have a much higher pay scale now because of outsourcing, because the people that we need in this industry, they need to know high tech, they need to know specifications, they need to know how to use a ruler, they need to know currency conversions, they need to know geography, where are all these countries, and how do you get merchandise in here from them? So is there necessarily any need to actually bring manufacturing back to California? Yes, there is. And what is that about? Because the larger the company is, the more units of a particular style they make, the more they have to test those styles by making them here first. You can't go in and make 100,000 units of every pair of jeans that you design. So you if want you to had test to, it first. Okay, you have to test it first. Mm -hmm. If you had to sum up what the workforce here in California offers that other international venues don't, less expensive venues, what would it be? Design. Design, 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 creativity. 
And the, and the schools too, right? The schools, the 12 schools that we have, and we have schools from co uh, community colleges like Pasadena, LA Trade Tech, Mount San Antonio, all with very, very sophisticated design courses. We have the private schools like Fashion Institute of Design, Otis, Brooks, Woodbury. We have 12 schools in this area, more than any other place in the universe for design. Elsa, it's wonderful having you. A pleasure. Come back and see us. Anytime. If you want to get in touch with Elsa Metchek, we'll tell you how right after this. <laughs>